All right, welcome to this video assignment on Mr. Massio's syllabus. This is how things are done in my class. Now, during this video as you're watching, I want you to take notes. This will all be very important. So you will take note on a separate piece of paper and you will write down all the key points. Then you will be taking this paper home and you'll have your parent or guardian sign at the bottom. So right now, I want you to stop this video and get out a piece of paper and something to write with. Now that you have a piece of paper and something to write with, these are the notes that you will be taking or this is what it will look like. All right. I want you to write it in Cornell Notes format. So this is what Cornell Notes look like. If you don't, if, if you're not familiar with Cornell Notes, you'll become familiar, but essentially on the side of the screen here, this is where you write down uh, bullet points, things I'm talking about. Oh, I'm talking about supplies. I'm talking about technology, absences. On this side of the screen is where you write down the specifics, All right, what I said about each. Your name, of course, will go up here at the top. Title the page up here. Then see at the very, very bottom here, you will write this little line and your parents will sign the bottom. So make sure your, your parents sign the bottom here. This will be due on Friday. So by Friday, you will need this signed and you will give this to me. Now, first off, let's start with why are you here? The main reason why you're here is to learn these four things, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. So as part of my class, you'll be doing all four of these a lot. We will be doing a lot of reading. You will be doing a lot of writing. You will be doing listening to both me and to your other classmates, and you'll be doing speaking. So for those of you who are shy, you're gonna have to learn how to speak in public because saying the words is going to be just as important as writing the words. Now, these are the supplies you're going to need to have with you every day. Always make sure you have your Chromebook and make sure it is charged. Okay. We don't have that many plugs in our room. So making sure that it is charged is very important. So make sure your Chromebook is charged. If I were you, I would charge it every night at home. Uh, bring your charger just in case. Second, you need your agenda. So that planner that we had where you write down everything that's going on every day, you need to make sure you bring your agenda every day. And also you gotta make sure you bring highlighters. Uh, as part of the class, we will be using the Chromebook a lot, but you'll also have a book that has a hard copy of all the text we will be reading. You'll be using your highlighter to go through and highlight the text that we read. Loners, I'm not talking about those people who like to be all by themselves. I'm talking about if you do not bring your Chromebook, I have a very limited number of loners that you can borrow. The loners are not cool. They don't have all of your fancy settings and pictures. Um, so you'll probably enjoy using your own Chromebook better. If you're going to use my loaner, you can only use my loaners if you ask me first. Do not go grab a loaner without asking me. I will give priority to those people who ask me first. If I have three loaners and four people want to use it, the people who come ask me will get it first. You have to sign it out. After you ask me if you can use the loaner, you must sign out, write your name on the piece of paper and write down which Chromebook you're taking. And lastly, you must plug it in when you're done using it. If you sign out a Chromebook, if you use it all day and then I come back and it's not plugged in, it's just sitting on the table, you will not be able to use one of my loaners again. All right, so make sure you plug it in. We will be using technology a lot in my classroom. The first thing you've already seen is Google Classroom. This is the image right here. This is what it looks like. In fact, this image is in the top right-hand corner of your screen, way up here in Google Chrome. 
Right? So using that is, um, is going to be crucial to passing my class. So make sure you are familiar with how to get there, open it, and check your assignments. Now, secondly, we'll be using slides a lot, Google Slides. Those were the first thing I had you fill out on the first three, uh, two days of school. Next, we'll be using Google Docs a lot. You'll be doing your bell ringers on Google Docs. You'll be doing other assignments and handouts, writing essays, paragraphs, and other um, assignments on Google Docs. We'll be using Sheets a lot. Google Sheets is where you will turn in your boggle answers and other uh, forms that I give you will be on Google Sheets. And lastly, all of it will be stored on your Google Drive account. This is your personal folder, your online binder, where you're going to be keeping all of your assignments and documents. If you're absent, it is your responsibility to check Google Classroom and finish all missed work. Nobody needs to come up to me the next day and say, Mr. Massio, I wasn't here yesterday. What did I miss? Right? You will need to, on your own, go check Google Classroom and make sure that you see uh, what needs to be done for that day. If you do have any questions after you checked it, you can come ask me, and only then will I answer your questions. Gmail. You all have a Gmail account. It's your student ID at my.puhsd.org. Make sure you check your Gmail often. You'll be getting messages from me, a reminder that certain things are due or tests are coming up. Uh, you will get emails of assignments that I post on Google Classroom. It'll say, hey, this assignment's due. Don't forget. Also, you can email me and ask me questions as well. My email is joseph.massio at puhsd.org. Uh, and I'll write that down someplace else for you to see. Behavior. Let's talk about two things. First, cell phones. Just want to say, they're not allowed in my classroom. There is no reason to ever have your cell phone out. We have Chromebooks, no need for cell phones. So if I see it, that will be a problem. Second, misusing your Chromebooks. You have this great thing to use, awesome. I never had it when I was uh, your age at all. You have this to use, so don't misuse it. Misusing your Chromebook includes emailing or messaging friends when you're in my classroom. Touching someone else's Chromebook, you should never ever touch someone else's Chromebook. Don't close theirs, turn it off, anything like that. Watching videos or listening to music when you should be working. If I've given you an assignment and you're supposed to be quietly working, you should be working on the assignment. You should not be watching videos uh, or listening to, to music. You should be focused on your work. Unless I give you permission otherwise to listen to music while you work. But if I do not, you should not be doing it. So if you break any of these rules, we go into the three strike rule. You know, that rule three strikes you're out. On the first offense, the first time I catch you with a cell phone out or misusing your Chromebook, you will lose the Chromebook privilege or use for a week. Right. You still got to keep it, but you cannot use your Chromebook in my classroom at all. You will become a paper person for a full week. It will make it very difficult to do assignments, uh, and you have to make sure that you always have paper with you. If I catch you a second time, you will lose your Chromebook use for two weeks, and I will call home and talk to your parents and find out what's going on. On the third offense, you will lose your Chromebook use permanently and you will get a referral to the discipline office. So you will no longer be able to use your Chromebook in my room, and you will be sent to the discipline office to chat with them. All right, class goals. I've been talking about class goals a lot, and this Friday you'll be setting them as a class. There are three class goals we'll be focusing on. First is being on time. So far, everybody has been great at being on time to class. Keep that up and you will for sure meet this goal. 
Second is behavior. There are a couple things you can do to uh, lose points on behavior. Some periods have already lost some points on behavior. Uh, these things include talking when you're not supposed to be talking, being off task, um, and other things that will come up. And lastly, grades. As a class, we will set a goal. As everybody should have a class average of an 85% or of a 90%. We'll talk about the, that together as a class. If you reach all three goals, then you'll get rewards, which will be talked about on Friday. Now, remember this, you succeed or fail as a class. It's all or nothing. You just can't get two of the goals and expect to get the rewards. You get all three goals or you get no reward and you will su succeed or fail as a class. So one person can bring down the whole class. So make sure you're all on your best behavior and then everybody will get to reap the benefits of the rewards. Lastly, I wanna talk about something that I shouldn't have to talk about, but I'm going to, and that's cheating. No one should be cheating in Mr. Masio's classroom. First off, it's gonna be kinda of hard to cheat. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we're gonna be doing is really based off of your experience. So copying somebody else's experience or somebody else's stories, it just won't work. Now, if you are cheating and you, by looking up someone else's paper or borrowing someone else's homework, uh, then you both will receive zeros. Make sure then nobody's looking off your screen because if I catch someone looking over your shoulder, copying off your screen, you're both going to get zeros, even if you didn't know about it. And I know that sounds unfair, but mostly that's to make sure that you are not letting people look at your screens when we do tests and other important assignments. Uh, don't just turn your screen so your neighbor can see and copy off you you'll both receive zeros. And if you are caught plagiarizing, you will have an immediate referral and get a zero on the assignment. Plagiarizing is a big word that means stealing from the internet. If I ask you to write a paper on uh, Alice in Wonderland, don't search papers for Alice in Wonderland, copy and paste that and turn that in as your assignment. Everything you write, I run through a plagiarism checker that will let me know if you copied it off the internet. So if you are caught plagiarizing, turning in work that is not yours, it's an immediate referral and a zero on the assignment. So that is it for the video. Make sure you took really good notes and at the bottom of your notes, you have a line for your parent to sign. You need to take this home and get your parents to sign it and bring it back tomorrow.